guys, I'm Shivani Trehan and welcome to my channel Social Cravings. So this is a continuation video of my weight loss uh, journey or my weight transformation story. In the first video, I had spoken about my reasons to lose weight and how and why I was motivated to lose weight. In this video, I'm going to be talking about everything that I actually did to lose that weight and how I lost those 11 kgs. And if you remember, I'd also mentioned that it wasn't weight loss that was my goal, it was inch loss. I wanted to lose about three to four inches on my thighs. So how exactly I went about it, uh, what was my meal plan, my food plan, or my diet plan, whatever you like to call it. First, let's get a quick glance at some before and after pictures. Now these are some of the shots I took right after I lost weight. Now the first thing to do is to remove all whites from your diet. So be it white rice, white bread, sugar, white sugar, uh, maida which is um, wheat flour or all purpose flour in English. So I have always been more of a rice eater than roti or chapati. In fact many people used to think that I'm Bengali. Uh, because of my big eyes and because I used to consume so much rice so I really had to cut down on that so I used to have like a lot of momos it still is one of uh, my favorite things to eat and uh, I used to have like momos four times in a week and it used to be my evening snack and each plate had like eight pieces so um, I really really had to stop all of that and uh, even maida in your pizzas, pastas, burgers, maggi. So I really had to cut down on all of it. So coming to sugar, I was never much of a dessert person and I know people who are crazy about desserts and they love their desserts. So all the best to you. But I used to consume a lot of sugar in my teas and coffees. In fact, in 2015, when I was in my corporate job, I used to have um, almost three to four coffees in a day and each cup used to have minimum two spoons of sugar can you imagine like that was insane amount of white sugar going in me so I stopped all of that and I eventually moved to having black teas and black coffees and for white bread again I completely stopped that and I switched to multigrain bread or brown bread and even that I never used to consume too much it just used to be like maybe twice a week that's it i understand guys that following a food plan or a diet plan can be really hard but once you start doing it and you know uh, your body gets used to it after like two three weeks and then you will understand how unhealthy you've actually been eating all this while so actually it's a complete lifestyle change the second point that I would like to bring up is avoid fasting or feasting. So I would never be fasting, I would never be starving myself or keeping myself hungry. In fact, I used to eat almost every two hours because if you starve yourself, then you know, that's when you have the maximum tendency to actually cheat on your meal. Stop overeating. I used to overeat in every meal. I had whether it was biryani, whether it was Chinese, whether it was paranthas, whether it was rajma chawal, I had no bifurcation. I used to overeat in every meal. So I completely stopped doing that and instead of having more in each meal, I started having smaller portions and more often. Now coming to cheat meals. Now my cheat meals mostly used to happen on a Sunday when I used to step out with my family for either lunch or dinner or catch up with some friends. And um, on my cheat day, I used to really indulge myself. I used to have everything that I was not having. So from pizzas, burgers, pastas, everything. And I also used to indulge myself in some dessert. Uh, but you know, when I started my concept of cheat meal, the mistake I made was that I used to overeat again on my cheat meal. So I used to think it's the end of the world and I am never going to get this food again. So I used to just stuff myself in with all the yummy and delicious food. But that was wrong. I was doing it all wrong. So I basically stopped overeating even in my cheat meals. 
no outside food now i had quite the social life and i used to even step out on weekdays which became like a huge problem for me and this is where i faced the maximum amount of issues even with social cravings i started getting a lot of uh, invites for events so ultimately i had to decide that i had to stop eating out and one day cheat meal meant one day only so i really had to discipline myself in this regard so instead of stopping my social life and you know like stop stepping out and meeting friends and going for events weddings etc what i started doing was that i started eating at home before leaving for the party or event and and if that was not possible then at the event i would just end up having the healthier options which would be like grilled vegetables or i would end up having um chicken you know a lot of times like those chicken tikkas and all they're not very healthy but they are still like the healthier options so see if you are someone who steps out like once in a week or just once in a while then it's okay please go ahead and do whatever you want to but if you were someone like me who would really step out very often then you know you have to control it and even when it comes to festivals you know like for example diwali time there's so many card parties and you know so much so much going on so i really had to balance it out now coming to alcohol and other drinks Firstly I completely stopped having all aerated drinks so coke fanta sprite etc canned juices everything was stopped Now coming to alcohol like I mentioned I used to step out very often and I used to drink everything from wine to whiskey to vodka gin cocktails everything even when I was in my corporate job I used to step out a lot with my colleagues and I used to end up having lot of beer and that is when I also developed my beer belly but starting 8th of August 2015 when I started my entire meal plan I completely gave up alcohol for minimum of 2 months so even after those 2 3 months my consumption of alcohol had drastically reduced and i would consume it say just once a week or maybe not even that and even my choice of alcohol had completely changed so i would have something like a uh, skinny bitch I and mean, that's what it's called in the UK which is just vodka water and lime it doesn't taste of anything but then it just helps you to keep your weight at bay or even a glass of wine you know a glass of red wine or white wine so by the end of it my capacity to drink had completely reduced and on the positive side i would drink a lot less i would have complete control on myself and the number of drinks i was having and i would end up spending a lot less money so by the way i had started the journey on 8th of august 2015 and uh, till my birthday which is 21st october I had already lost 5 kgs so I had really started seeing the results and trust me it feels fabulous don't shop till you've achieved your goal this is another great way of keeping yourself motivated i remember that i did not shop for so many months i had decided for myself that till i don't achieve my uh you know entire goal i will not purchase anything so even though my clothes had started becoming loose and you know like things weren't fitting me but i was adamant that i'm not going to purchase anything i remember on my birthday my sister gifted me some clothes cuz she's like you know you need some of these clothes to wear till you achieve the remaining of your goal and uh, i think also because she just wanted me to stop raiding her closet every time i needed something to wear I used to work out even before um you know August 2015 but I never used to take care of my eating habits so I never actually lost weight I was always able to sort of maintain my weight with the working out but then I realized that if I have to shake things up then I have to shake everything up and that meant my diet now 80% of the change I am sorry to say this to you <laughs> but 80% of the change can happen only through the diet and the rest of that 20% is exercise i used to go to the gym but you can do any exercise you can play a sport you can go for a run jog do yoga anything that you enjoy doing 
Now I used to do a mix of routines. I'm someone who can get bored very easily if it's the same exercises and lose interest immediately. <laughs> Luckily for me, I found myself a trainer who pushed me, motivated me, questioned me when I didn't show up and kept it challenging and different every single day. So I used to do a mix of weight training, strength training, cardio, HIIT training and functional training and my favorite all time favorite being functional training. Every day's training used to be accompanied by minimum 30 minutes of cardio. So I used to do all three machines which were the treadmill, cross trainer and cycling. So I used to work out six times a week uh, with Sunday being as my off day and I used to spend about an hour and a half in the gym where I told you half an hour used to be cardio and that one hour used to be uh, stretching and focusing on any one or two body parts. There would obviously be some busy weeks in the middle where I could go only four to five times a week but as much as possible I would try not to skip even if it meant going just for half an hour and exercising. Also another very very important part of my exercise routine used to be stretching. My gym instructor had specially told me to always always start and end my exercise routine with stretching. So it was a mandate. So my first 10 minutes and my last 10 minutes used to be only stretching my body. The only part that I used to hate about going to the gym is that I would sweat a lot. So my hair would always be sweaty and would never look good. But my skin started glowing and actually my skin and hair became a lot more healthier so eventually I started loving that part as well about it. If you are someone who only wants to lose weight then please go ahead and just do the food plan but if you are someone who wants to be fit, build stamina, have lean muscles, have a toned body and have abs then you have to do the hard work and you have to work out. Also, please remember that being thin does not equal being fit. They are two completely very different things. Now coming to the main part which all of you have been waiting for is the food plan. So when I would wake up, I would either start my day with um, lemon water or black tea or green tea. I would then have two shots shots of amla juice and aloe vera juice and this was this is easily available at any of your patanjali stores so i would just buy it from there then i would have conflicts with muesli now remember i had given up white sugar so i could i could never believe that i would be able to have milk without sugar but yes you just develop a taste for everything like i developed a taste even for black coffee i could never imagine myself having black coffee as well so I would have conflicts with muesli, fruit and nuts. So I would have soaked walnuts and almonds. So either you can have this like with your breakfast, um, like in your morning routine, or actually you can have them at any point during the day. So for my main breakfast meal, I would keep it very simple and homemade. Uh, I could have poha, chila, upma, sprouts. Bread used to be twice a week, which was multigrain or brown bread. And being non-vegetarian, um, I could have different kinds of eggs. So, you know, omelette, fried egg, um, uh, scrambled egg or boiled eggs. There were a lot of days where I just used to have boiled eggs and I used to have egg whites only. So I would have like three to four uh, egg whites, you know, uh, for breakfast. Lots of eggs meant lots of proteins and this was something my gym instructor had told me to do so because he wanted me to consume uh, more of protein from natural sources. Then for lunchtime, I would start with the salad. So if you want, you can have your salad around 12.31 as well. Um, or just have it with your uh, main lunch meal. The main lunch meal would have one katori of dal or lentils and um, some form of vegetable and either one chapati, only one chapati or it used to be one katori measured of brown rice. So the whole point is that you reduce the roti and the rice and you have more of the vegetables. Now after lunch you can either have a green tea or coconut water. Now early evening I would end up having a bowl full of makhanas and either a black tea or black coffee. Mostly it used to be black coffee because I used to go to the gym in the evening so I used to have 
black coffee before hitting the gym in the evening i would also have minimum two different kind of fruits and one would normally be an apple because that would uh, fill my stomach up and uh, and any other fruit now my main dinner meal would have either uh, soups uh, salads my mom makes like different different kinds of salads um, vegetables so you can either have grilled vegetables or sauteed vegetables um, chicken so it would either be grilled chicken boiled chicken steamed chicken or sauteed chicken with uh, vegetables or tandoori chicken then i could also have fish which could either be grilled or again sauteed in uh, vegetables or steamed and um, and you know if we wouldn't have a plan for dinner then i would just have one katori of dal with khira like lentil and cucumber that's it that would be my dinner and my meal would end with a green tea a cup of green tea and later at night just like before bed i would have one glass of lemon water and this is something i do till date now just a few and quick do's and don'ts do not have fried food so none of your like pakoras puri bhatura samosas no potato chips then no aerated drinks like coke fanta sprite no canned juices or any canned drinks that might have sugar in it then for your fruits keep your fruits seasonal and keep rotating your fruits like don't have the same fruit every single day for example don't have mango every single day rotate your fruits at any point during the day you feel hungry just have some walnuts or almonds have lots of water this is like a mandate for everyone have lots and lots of water through the day i used to have a lot of warm water i never used to have cold water even in my gym the instructor had told me never to touch cold water always have warm water and by the way water does wonders to your body skin and health it really helps to cleanse your body and your system so during the entire process of working out and trying to lose weight i had become obsessive with fitness groups so there used to be these fitness groups on social media um so i used to follow some groups on facebook and i used to love reading other people's transformation stories so and i used to love seeing their before and after pictures it really used to motivate me and help me to push myself even further and that's it guys with a lot of hard work and a lot of control over my mind heart and body exercise diet i lost 11 kgs in 5 months and it was a very healthy way of losing weight i lost uh, approximately only 2 kgs per month and i shocked everyone around me one last thing that i would like to add over here is that it's always a great idea to have a nutritionist or a doctor on board who will support your journey of weight loss uh, because they can check your levels and you know you don't want to be less or deficient in any of the nutrients so they can guide you with your supplementation and take care of that aspect as well Hope you found this video helpful. If you still have any questions, please comment below and I will surely get back to you. And that's it for now guys. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Lots of love.